as you guys can see, we're gonna be playing some te team deathmatch on raid. I don't know why. Whenever I first load into, lo okay, that we just love getting absolutely destroyed on the start from a sniper. But yeah, the, so before I actually hopped on, I saw that they added the crossbow um, bundle back into the store. So if you guys are looking to get the crossbow early, I don't know because I haven't bought it and I haven't checked if it actually works in multiplayer this time. But they did add it back. They also added the challenge back. So that's really great. I'm really looking forward to unlocking that because i have a i have a good like idea of what i want to do with it especially combine okay are they okay they're gonna be spawning back here i feel like but i have a really fun idea i want to do with the modern warfare cross or the or a comparison i want to do with the modern warfare 2019 crossbow and the black obviously the new black ops cold war crossbow it's i, I just can't wait to actually unlock it I gotta say, like, I really like the challenge that they added to get it, just, like, having it get one-shot kills, not specifically, like, sniping or anything like that, although that is, like, if you guys are looking to complete that challenge a lot faster and not play hardcore, I would definitely recommend sniping because I, I think I, that's the only way you can, if I get him, I, I, okay, I, I don't know how, are you kidding me? Let me see it. Okay, so that wasn't his syntax right there. That I was gonna say, really, dude, you checked the syntax and then pushed me. That's that's what we love. Come on, come on. You know you wanna push this. Oh, if I would have hit that, or if that would have been like a second later. Oh, yeah, but as you guys can see, we are running paranoia today from that little blue, or a little yellow indicator right there. Yeah, I'm using per one. I decided to add a little bit of a twist to my class setup and just adding one perk or switching out one of the perks that I don't nor. Oh, ha, Ricky Bobby. But yeah, I decided to change it up and just basically put on one perk that I really don't use. Okay, there we go. Got Ricky Bobby. But yeah, I decided to use a perk that I just ri or perks in every category that I just feel like I don't really use. Is he just sitting right there? <sighs> I hope we don't just have somebody sitting and waiting for the control. There we go, Ricky Bobby again. Okay, he I have a feeling, is he gonna push this? I have a feeling he is. Or my teammate's gonna, well, I guess I was right. I didn't specify who, but my teammate ended up pushing that. But yeah, just, I. Uh, for some, for whatever reason, I have really enjoyed using the LC10, and I don't know. It's just the iron sights for me just looks so clean. This and the Groza, I would say, are like just some really clean iron. Okay, I was gonna say if I didn't get him right there, I would have been. Is he still? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and he's right. Okay, is he gonna push down this way? Okay, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I have a feeling they're gonna try and flank us, okay, this is probably a, this is a risky move right here, I have a feeling I'm just gonna get, like, one-shotted by a sniper, watch this, oh, okay, and there's, are you kidding me, that, you guys can't see me, but that actually just made me jump right there, like, yeah, you guys saw how I just brought up the scoreboard right there, I, uh, who that, that really just, like, that really just gave my heart, like, a really kind of mini... Come on, push that. And, of course, I get him to, a, to the point where he's, like, two-shot. Okay, are you going to push this? Um, no, because I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to pick up this M60 just so I can potentially hit some people across the court. What are you... Dude, that armor, that armor legitimately saved him right there. He was, uh, that would have been a headshot. I would have felt so bad because he would have had his armor on and I would just kill him anyways. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I, yeah, that just goes, I that just goes to show like, oh my. Wow, that was, that was kind of, that was kind of not clean, but that was kind of clean. Just getting that headshot right there. Okay, there's a four. You're not really, mm, let me see. 
I don't know why. I just like sometimes I mean to watch the kill cam, but like I just like instinctively press the respawn button. I always like, okay, I want to watch this, and then I accidentally skip it before I even like think about it. But yeah, I'm not really trying to go for anything specific. I'm just trying to have. I'm just trying to have some fun with the LC-10 here. If we happen to get a few bloodthirsties, it happens, it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't... I really just enjoy, like, making videos where... Or not enjoy... But I just hit him with, like, the best clap back right there. He's just trying to... Shoot. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna back off that. Okay, thank you, teammates, for getting him really weak right there. Got him for... And does he... All right, okay, I, thank you, teammates. I, I honestly, I did not have that kill right. And, okay, it's a friendly war machine, or death machine. Okay, so, okay, yeah. I'm gonna kind of take a different angle to that because I just, I saw the dude across the courtyard and I was like, okay, if I, I felt like if I just stayed at that, at that previous angle, I would have, I would have just lost that. Can I get last kill? Can I get last kill? No, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's like the worst recoil, and of course you kicked in at the... Ooh, last kill with the Amadi. There we go! Wait, did we get last kill? I think we did, but that is going to be it for the gameplay section of this video. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the class setup. For my LC10 class setup today, I'm going to get started with the perks. For the perk one, I'm gonna be running Paranoia. Just, it's really useful for seeing that little bl or yellow like light pulse on my screen and just seeing when people are targeting me fr from outside my field of view, just l eliminating those deaths as much as possible from behind or just people I can't see. And then I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be running Tack Mask just because I wanted to change it up from Flag Jacket because I just felt like everybody and their mother just runs Flag Jacket on this game. And then for the perk two category, I'm gonna be running Assassin because it just allows me to like, when I'm going on a kill streak and I'm ending people's streaks, it allows me to get my score streaks a lot faster. And then for the second perk, I'm gonna be running Tracker. Tracker is, it's a really useful perk. It's basically kind of untouched from throughout most of the other games from like Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3. But, and I just feel like this, perk just really gets underrated because I don't see a lot of people using it and I wanted to just like use a perk that people don't really use that much because quartermaster and like gearhead yeah they use, people use it I feel like when they need to go for their um detected or like using when using stun grenades or smoke grenades or something like that and then for my perk three i'm gonna be running ghost just because you guys already know i want to stay off that mini map as much as possible and well when i'm not shooting obviously and then i'm running cold blooded just because i feel like this is another underrated attachment it's not it doesn't have no use i just i feel like people go over it just because there's gung-ho and then there's ninja and spycraft which i'm not gonna lie even i go over cold-blooded for those other perks so i really wanted to use that to just stay off of thermals for the most part i feel like in the gameplay there weren't that many like score streaks on the ground or like sentry guns or vtols in the air but for the actual gun today for the lc10 i'm going to be running the muzzle break 0.45 apc that plus four percent in the vertical recoil control for the barrel i'm going to be running the 12.5 extended barrel for that plus 40 in the bullet velocity yeah and the bullet velocity for the body i'm going to be running the steady aim laser because sometimes i just don't have time to aim down sights and just i need to get a quick kill right then and there and don't have time to aim down sights and for the under barrel i'm going to be running the foregrip because i want that plus 15 in the horizontal recoil control to complement that vertical recoil control and for the handle today, I'm going to be running the speed tape just because I want to be, be able to aim down sights as fast as I possibly can and just either end a gunfight really quick or get that really much needed advantage over somebody who is like, say, entering a doorway at the same time as me or walking around a corner. But that is going to be it for this class setup. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video.